Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to do a very simple painting. I am going to experiment some light and shade work in watercolor. How uh, light comes in and uh, how light reflects in a glossy surface that will be experimenting here. So watch the video till end to know more about watercolor. Because in this video I will be giving you some tips and tricks in between. So let's start. In this video, I have already done my drawing and uh, doing uh, this drawing with a very light uh, pencil so that I can uh, be able to know where my lines are going uh, here, where I should be keeping uh, sharp highlights and where I should be keeping little dark areas. Those things uh, I will be uh, doing uh, while doing the coloring just keeping the outline with the drawing and applying a very light shade uh, before applying in the object i'm just applying very light shade on the background this time i'm not uh, fading out water before applying the color this way also we can do it is not a, a very strict rule that we have to follow the uh, water spreading rule at the very first time so as this is a experimental work i will be trying to do uh, something uh, some detailing work also so be with me till end uh, so that you will be able to know uh, uh, some interesting tips regarding watercolor I want to share a very uh, funny incident happened few days back with me. Uh, one of my friend, old friend, he was asking me why this watercolor techniques uh, when you start your painting is so boring. It looks very boring when you start your painting and gradually it comes uh, to the life. I really uh, find this uh, question very funny, but uh, it's true. Uh, because in not only watercolor painting but for any kind of art uh, when we start doing it either it is music dance or any form of art when we started it, it looks very boring we can't uh, uh, show the perfectness at the very first time so whoever is new in this field, they always get bored but w once you start taking steps then only you will be able to reach the top so it's better to start uh, start the steps not uh, getting bored like uh, so in that stage you can do some other experiments also take some colorful object instead of taking on the uh, the monochrome objects or very dull colored uh, objects I'm just saying from my own experience, when I see red color or when I see bright green or bright orange color, bright blue color, I get automatically excited. But when I see dull gray all the time or when I see dull brown color all the time, brown and uh, not fresh colors, that time I don't get motivation when doing the painting. So it's always good to start with some interesting uh, object or in interesting colors so that we can keep uh, our interest till end and uh, these kind of uh, art uh, never happen in one second or never happen in 10 minutes or never happen in uh, one hour if you will uh, practice more you will learn more you will be able to finish your work fast and you will be getting the interest your interest level will be increasing inside you so keep practicing it one point of time you will realize that uh, what you can do and what you have done finally so that is very uh, important
one question always arise uh, where can i get time or how can i get time to do my practice it is very important to practice without practice we can't achieve anything so how much ever you are busy or whatever you are doing in, in your life if you really want to achieve something you will have to do some practice on that idea i have heard uh, which asa gosle also said the same thing if you want to achieve something you have to do practice you don't have any other option for this kind of uh, work also this form of art also practice is the very important and key point which we need to follow so it is very very important to do like make out make your time at least uh, if you can't do daily at least weekly once uh, you have to do practice at least for one hour otherwise it is not possible to reach in that level i always try to draw something every day if i am not getting time at least uh, i try to do something on my weekend one hour i try to work on that either sometimes i do watercolor sometimes i do sketching or sometimes i just scribble i don't do anything but uh, i try to spend my time with pen and pencil or uh, book and pencil whatever or sometimes if i am not doing anything suppose i am traveling and uh, i'm having lot of guest at home or something is happening which is not allowing me to do the sketching or painting or something i try to think about my next project or something i try to give in uh, give my time in that area so that i can be with my hobby or with my painting or drawing that area uh, most of the time otherwise what happens if you practice for one week if you have done something very good and if you sit for one month again again you will be losing your hand so practice is the very very important point here which we need to keep in mind the frequently asked uh, question is where can we get the inspiration so according to me anywhere we get inspiration from anywhere if we think and if we see very closely we will get lot of inspiration the nature is the best place where we can get the inspiration but if you don't have option to go to any go outside and take inspiration from uh, nature you can take inspiration from your home objects as well it is just like you just pick something and start doing it start draw drawing it so when you start doing drawing you will get more interest and that time you will see whatever you see you will get uh, you will feel like that will be your inspiration you can see magazines or you can see other artist work or you can uh, go to the social media see the other artist uh, work or go to youtube and uh, check the great artist work and other stuff and read books or watch movie from anywhere you can take inspiration and you can start doing it and it is just not only the copy thing a copy from them or copy from their work it is just like take the inspiration and create your own develop your own creativity and 
do from your own style but the inspiration you can be take like you can take from uh, anywhere i used to take inspiration from nature or like whatever i am seeing at my household i just take that and i start doing uh, practice i don't see like it is interesting or not interesting or whatever if, if i'm not getting a, i have a pen stand on my table if i'm not getting anything start drawing that only just moving right to left and like uh, different angle and start drawing that if that is also not there i just start uh, drawing my own hand or keep my uh, in front of uh, keep a mirror in front of me and start drawing myself so anything we can do in the name of inspiration this image is taken from a free image source so uh, these colors red color and white and orange and brown these colors attract me more so i thought like i should be trying this photograph uh, in watercolor so that is why i said at the very first time that uh, colors plays a very important role in uh, painting or any drawing or any photography those kind of art maybe if you get a very bright color or very uh, interesting color you feel like doing something so when i saw this photograph i thought like these colors are very bright and very beautiful anyway i i am very i love red color and uh, i i am very fond of pink so i thought i should be trying this one and uh, some bright colors looks really great once you finish your work which motivates you so much so i have taken this photograph you can also take any kind of image which you like or you can pick any image which has some interesting colors or interesting patterns or interesting um uh, forms you can definitely try that our main motto should be the practice and that is what we should do how you can make it interesting it's up to you I hope you like this video today. Uh if you like this video please uh hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. You can get this kind of uh water color related or any art related uh, information in my channel. And if you like this video please uh, hit the like button and share this video with your friends or whoever wants to learn art. i will it will be helpful for uh, somebody who really wants to learn art and uh, watch my videos uh, which are uh, related to these kind of topics and i have already uh, created my playlist and uh, i have added in my description box you can check there drawing related videos are also there sketching related videos are also there in my uh, description you can check the those also if you are interested 
so thank you for watching this video till end and let's meet my, uh, in my next video till then bye bye